Welcome. I'm Meredith. This is the Oasis Spiritual Empowerment Tarot. All about tarot, oracle, and empowering you. And we have another unboxing. And this one's almost a Kickstarter. Oh, but before that, can I show you? This is so silly, but I just, I love this. I found this at Lowe's. Look at this for an air plant. Isn't that fabulous? I just thought it was so cute. They have like a whole bunch of different ones, but I love this. So, nothing to do with tarot, really, except I think maybe some people who like tarot might like it, and especially for this video, because um, it, a little while ago, I did an unboxing of Eerie Encounters, a cryptid oracle card deck by Eamon McNamee. Um, absolutely love this deck. And this was a Kickstarter. Um, but the thing is, look at these backs too. Oh, I love, love the stack. So um, I, I messed up a little bit. With the Kickstarter, there was an option to add on um, like an expansion pack. And I did not do that. And um, basically, as soon as I unboxed this, I realized that I wanted it. So I ordered it separately. And that is this deck. So this is the Appalachian Apparitions, a Cryptid Oracle card deck by Eamon McNamee. Talks about what is an Oracle deck. Uh, how to use it. I love this. Hooray, you bought the Appalachian Apparition, Apparitions Cryptic Oracle deck. Now what? So it talks about how to use it. Um, it shows you the um, uh, the structure of the card. So we have the name, the location of where the cryptid is found, the date. Um, we have a theme or meditation, relationship advice, and general guidance. Really, really nice. And the same structure as the other deck. Here are all the different cryptids that we have. So, let's open this up. Bring my knife. Um, and these are going to fit perfectly in the box. So, that makes me happy too. So, and if you didn't see the uh, unboxing of the Eerie Encounters deck, I will link it in the description because it's a great deck. Um, and I just really like it. So I'm so excited for these. It's so funny. So I'm in Pennsylvania, and this year is significant to me. Let's just say that. So again, same, same packs, just to show you. So... I don't know if it's my eyes, what, but yeah, I mean, it's the same, same size, all that. And talking about size, maybe a hair shorter, hair more narrow than standard tarot, but it, it's basically right there. So let me grab a drink. I'm sorry, I'm so dehydrated. I'm on this medication and it's like drying me up like crazy. Okay. So, we have Pennsylvania White Bigfoot from Uniontown, Pennsylvania. That's where it is. So, there's a Union, New Jersey that I'm familiar with. And uh, there's a lot of things about this. So, what do we have? Light illumination. Searching for the cause of their distress. Maybe disappear for a while. Yeah, this card, is, so I'm not a Bigfoot fan, honestly. It's just I'm not really interested in Bigfoot. But there are so many things about this card that feel very personal to me. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to have to set this one aside because it's really interesting. Oh, look at this. So we have Agua. Um, now some of these are a little tough to read. But it's West Virginia, 19... 
43. I should probably put my reading glasses on, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> In a shell, revisit your bait, pull your sustenance into the murkiness, and consume it. Wow. Wow. Okay. The Cumberland Dragon. From the Cumberland Mountains in Tennessee, 1794. From Cover Creek, Sentinel of the Path Between. They are more scared of you than you of them. Jump back. Oh, I love this one. The Squonk. Trail of Tears. Sometimes hearts are for breaking. Don't let the hurt diminish you. What a fabulous... <coughs> Sorry, I had a sinus thing. I sound awful. I apologize. These are fabulous messages. And he's so cute. I just want to give him a hug. I want to make it all better. Nobby. 1978 Carpenter's Knob, North Carolina. Count the signs. Uniting building community. Arm yourself. Always be ready. The Tennessee Wild Man. Uh, Wat Watuga Cliffs, Tennessee, 1995. So this, I think, is like the first sighting. A surprising strength. Carry them away. After the stillness, a great piercing scream. That These are just really, really fabulous messages. Injured Cold. November 2nd, 1966, Parkinsburg, West Virginia. Reassurance. Hear them even without words. Do not fear. No harm will befall you. Beast of Gum Hill. 2009, Gum Hill, West Virginia. I feel like a lot of this stuff happens in West Virginia. Caught. Family diversions. Let yourself have fun and you might find the unexpected. I mean, this one, of course, is, is the Appalachian, so it's, you know, a um, great deal is in West Virginia. The West Virginia Yahoo. June 30th, 2007. Um, yeah, I'm not even going to try to say that, but I'll show it to you if it'll focus. The borderlands. You must make yourself known. Mistaken at first, then revelation. Deweo. West Middleton, Maryland, 1944. Nature untamed. Perhaps this is a conflict without resolution. Run and scream. Oh my god, I love these. I love these. Wanderlights. Um, uh, is that? You know, I really should have. Oh, here, I have a mini. Oh, if I could get it. Okay, hang on. Got this. I don't know, but okay. Anyway, guiding light, shared magics. Look for and heed the warning lights that you both see. Veggie Man, <laughs> Fairmont, West Virginia, 1968. Surprisingly strong. Keep listening. You may have to shed some blood. That's fabulous. The Not Deer, Appalachian Mountains, North Carolina, 2019. Defined in contrast against, 
they falsely presented themselves. What is before you is wrong. Manongi. <laughs> Uh, 2003, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Radiation and mystery. Create something special. You can't cross the same river twice. <laughs> the Deer Man. Virginia, 2012. Transformation. They will come for you. After the stillness, a great piercing scream. The Wood Booger, Culpeper County, Virginia, 1995. Oh, I was in Virginia back then. Waiting. Hold on to your loved ones, lest they be taken from you. We are called into the woods. <laughs> the Alabama White Thang, 1940, Hollow Hills, Huntsville, Alabama. Fearsome but harmless. Approach with purpose and caution. If you need to scream, scream. <laughs> so wonderful. Okay. The Thunderbird. 2001, South Greensburg, Pennsylvania. Untethered and free. What do you believe in together? So loud, it's like the sky cracked open. Broad Top Serpent, Big Round Top, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, September, I don't know, what's the date? I can't tell, well, you know, I think it's in the guidebook anyway, uh, you know, the little flipbook. Among the Rocks, This Last Stand Together, Watch Where You Hunker Down. The Butler Gargoyle, Butler, Pennsylvania, 2011. Anonymous, not what they seem. Even the familiar road ahead may take you to unexpected places. The Grafton Monster, 1964, Grafton, West Virginia. Ooh. Headless, misshapen, form a hunting party. Be honest, come forward, and you will not be alone. Shenango Dog Boy, 1955, Mercer, Pennsylvania. First a screech and a howl. Drag your loved one from harm if need be. Run home now, run. <laughs> love these. The Wampus Cat. I just love that word, Wampus. 1933, Cumberland Gap, Middlesboro, Kentucky. A piercing howl in the night. Common cause, common goals, bring together. Take them on. The Mercer Werewolf, 1990, Mercer County, Pennsylvania. Moonlit hunts, if discovered, dash into the trees. Go outside together and catch a scent. Beaver Run Snow Gator. Beaver Run Reservoir, 2012. Uh, Pennsylvania. <laughs> Warm winter, breaking through the surface. Hibernation for now to terrorize tomorrow. Ohio Grassman. 1978, Minerva, Ohio. Homemaking. There are many ways to bond together. Don't be distracted by trash. <laughs> the Waterford Sheepman, 1970, Waterford, Pennsylvania. Bridge between. This may call for softness, but nip if need be. When everyone warns, take heed. Oh, love these. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and mix them with the Erie Encounters deck because that's really, you know, 
they're really meant to be together, you know. Um, and just so you can see quickly, you know, it's the same, same format, same kind of art. It's just a different area, right? Because this one's specific to the Appalachian region. So let's go ahead and give them a shuffle. And I'm just going to lay, you know, the whole deck out a little bit. Um, really, really nice. And can I tell you, the, the, uh, the artist, the creator, um, does do um, like a fair amount of, of shows, which is really nice. Um, if, you're, if you're interested, um, definitely check out his site. You know, because he lists where he's going to be and stuff. Um, I haven't gotten to one yet, but I would like to. So the shuffle beautifully. Well, that's me, of course. But let's, uh, let's just lay some out. Yeah, I love this deck. This is such a great deck. And I just love the messages. They're fabulous. Um, yeah, if you love, like, cryptid-y stuff or creepy stuff, or, you know, honestly, even if you don't, these remind me of, um, I don't think they're around anymore, but remember, remember, if, if you're old enough, um, the, uh, you know, like the Inquirer magazines. Um, you know, you go to the food store and you'd see like uh, Wolfman has baby with alien or something. You know what I mean? Like that kind of thing. Um, and it kind of reminds me of like that front page sort of um, image. And uh, yeah, I, I really like it. It's just so wonderful. And the card suck is wonderful. Can I tell you? It feels really, it feels like a really nice playing card cardstock. You know, it's meant to be shuffled and used and held and it's just wonderful. So let me know what you think. I'm so, so happy I was able to get that. Um, yeah, I just, I adore the stock. And again, so with the expansion, it's just a, a beautiful, perfect fit, even with the guidebooks, I think. Yeah. So it's perfect. So let me know what you think. And, uh, you know, I will link the first unboxing in the description so you can check it out if you missed it. Um, and until next time, just be wonderful to yourself. Be really really wonderful because you deserve the best only the best all the best and that is my wish for you